In today's video, we will explain how Leah Kyle baffled the judges with her second appearance on America's Got Talent, and made Simon Cowell admit she was indeed the best quick change magician in the world. But in this kind of thing you do, the quick change thing, I genuinely do believe you are the best in the world. Leah is a talented quick change magician who captivates audiences worldwide with her magical transformations. Let's do a quick rewind of what happened in the performance. The stage is set with a backdrop resembling a wardrobe filled with beautiful dresses, and Leah begins her performance standing at a dressing table, adorned in a red dress and a hat. With a flick of her wrist, she removes her hat and swipes it down, causing her dress to change from red to a black and white colored dress in an instant. Her next move is to kick her feet into the air, making her black boots change to white. She then climbs down from the table and picks up a green stripe from one of the mannequins on the table, which immediately causes her dress to change green. Leah then uses the green silk to change the yellow dress on another mannequin to green, and with a flick of her left hand, makes the silk fly off stage. Leah's magic continues as she makes her green dress change to yellow with a glimmer, and then uses a red glimmer to change her yellow dress to red. With a raise of her hand, she changes her red dress to black. She then takes a seat on the stairs and lifts her right leg, causing her black dress to change into a dress with a cheetah print. Next, she moves to the mannequin on her left wearing a white dress, and with a wave of her hand, causes the dress to catch fire and change into a beautiful blue dress. She repeats this process with the mannequin on her right, causing the dress to change into an enchanted red dress. For her final act, Leah progresses to the center of the stage and waves her hand, causing a thick cloud of smoke to fill both sides of the stage. When the smoke clears, she has transformed into a magnificent black gown, much to the awe and amazement of the audience. I want to give a special shout out to my elite patrons who joined the $30 tier this month. Greg Winter, Lendor the Magnificent, and Steve Kirsch. I would also like to give shout outs to my first class and super patrons. Your support is the reason I am able to improve my content and upload more regularly. Leah Kyle performed a total of 11 tricks in her second appearance on America's Got Talent. I will explain thoroughly how she performed each trick one by one. Let's start with the first quick change. She removes her hat and swipes it down, causing her dress to change from red, to a black and white colored dress in an instant. On first impression it appears that the red colored dress she was wearing got sucked into the top hat as she moved it in front of her dress. But if you were to observe this illusion closely, you'll notice that the back tail of this red dress is right behind the platform she is standing on. The tail of this dress was actually pulled right behind the platform. You may be wondering how was it pulled, if you were to zoom in close, you'll see the shape of a hand appear right behind the red dress and grabbing a hold of it. The assistant behind the platform synchronized the pulling on the dress motion, with the top hat, to create an incredible quick change illusion. The question now is how exactly was this dress torn right off Leah, wouldn't a lot of force be required? Well, the dress Leah was wearing was only attached with a pair of titch buttons on each of her shoulders. These buttons are the only things holding the dress on Leah, and when given a quick jerk the button immediately separated. The material used to design Leah's dress is silk. The reason for using silk is due to its unique characteristics that Leah uses to her advantage for her performances. Silk is a lightweight, breathable fabric. Which means it reduces the risk of overheating while wearing so many layers of it on stage. Silk clothes are good at keeping their shape. It is also flexible and has some elasticity to it which allows it to pull itself back into shape after stretching. Making this material very beneficial for Leah. She then changed the color of her boots just by kicking her feet in the air. What you're actually seeing in this frame is black silk that is wrapped around a white colored shoe. This black wrapping was held together by an invisible nylon thread right along this area of the boot. In order to perform the change she placed her right foot above the clear nylon thread, then by kicking the air, she loosened up the stitching holding the outer black silk in place, causing it to fall right off and reveal the white shoe underneath. You can spot the removed thread in this frame. The purpose of placing silver confetti underneath was to help hide the outer black cloth behind it, as it fell to the floor. At the same time add a magical touch to the boot color change. When Leah attempted to change her second shoe, by kicking the air, we notice the boot doesn't change. This happened because she couldn't get a good grip of the invisible wire under her left shoe. Fortunately on the second attempt, she got a better grip and successfully performed the boot color change. After walking off the platform Leah next turned her dress green by waving a green silk over it. Right before she gets into position to perform this change, we spot a hole at the surface of the table right here. 
Through this hole is where the assistant pushes their hand out and pulls her white dress into the table. Take note, this table is large enough to hide someone inside. You can judge this by comparing it with Leah's height. The next quick change is fairly easy to figure out. It uses the same method as the previous trick. The assistant once again played an important role by pulling the white dress through a hole on the table right behind the mannequin. After her quick change, we spot her flashing a yellow dress right underneath her green dress, exposing one of her later dresses earlier. Leah placed the green silk above the mannequin in a yellow dress and by pointing to her left, made it fly off stage. After which she magically absorbed the yellow color off the dress and turned it white. The flying green silk trick is actually a popular magic prop. This prop is a motor attached with a thread controlled with a button. The silk is attached with this string, and upon pressing the button, the motor pulls the thread to itself. Watching Leah's performance you'll notice that she freely moves this green cloth right around her, as if no strings were attached to it. Well, the thread wasn't attached to this green cloth until the very last moment when she placed it on the mannequin. The mannequin had a hook near its neck upon which she placed the green cloth. The hook can be spotted in this close-up shot. With the help of an assistant backstage it was pulled by the motor right off stage. Before we move further into the explanation, I have an offer you won't want to miss out on. If you enjoy these magic reveals and want in-depth understanding of any trick or even entire magic acts, and would like dedicated explanation videos upon your request on this channel, consider joining my $30 tier on Patreon. For those who join my $10 tier, you get to request the explanations for 3 different tricks per month. Consider visiting my Patreon and see which tier suits the best for you. You can also support this channel by liking this video and subscribing. I would really appreciate your support. Let's get back to the explanation. The mannequin's dress change illusion has two parts to it. First, Leah is wearing a popularly known magician's prop called a thumb tip. This thumb tip can be spotted clearly in this close-up shot on both her thumbs. This explains how she was holding on to the yellow light. The second part requires a very cleverly designed setup for the mannequin's dress. Although it may appear as if there are only two dresses on top of each other, similar to her previous quick changes. But there are actually three layers on the mannequin. One of which is not visible because it is actually a clear net fabric right above the yellow dress. This net fabric is holding the yellow cloth against the white cloth. This is why the yellow cloth appeared to be wrapped perfectly around the white dress as it was being pulled off the mannequin by the assistant. For the next trick she turned her green dress yellow and then red. This change uses the same principle of clear net fabric as the previous trick. This time the net can be seen more clearly right above the green and yellow layers holding them both together. We even spot the green layer leaving Leah's body from behind. The assistant then removed the yellow by a strong tug. This yellow layer was attached a lot more firmly along the edges over here. This is because when the green is pulled behind, the yellow layer doesn't accidentally get removed as well. Take note the yellow thumb tip light later turned red, when removing the yellow. The thumb tips she is wearing can emit both yellow and red color, depending on where it is being pressed. Leah accidentally turned on the red light, while waving it above the green dress and immediately turned it yellow when she noticed her mistake. The red dress split in the center and pulled behind to reveal a black dress. To hide this black dress properly, she wore a skin-colored cloth which can be spotted when these images are compared side by side. Leah sat on the stairs of the platform and by kicking the air, turned it into a brown cheetah print dress. There is a flap right underneath where she was sitting. The flap was open from where the assistant used her jump to give enough room for the black dress to move through. In the next trick she magically set the mannequin on fire and made a blue colored dress appear on it. This trick requires flash paper. What exactly is flash paper? Flash paper is made from nitrocellulose and burns quickly and completely with a bright orange flame and leaves no ash. It can be used on its own, or in the flash guns and flash wands. The white colored material on the mannequin you see here isn't silk, rather a large piece of flash paper wrapped right around it. Now to ignite this flash paper, the base of the mannequin had a device similar to a wireless self-lighting candle. A self-lighting candle is a prop used by magician in their close-up or stage show. The candle is implanted with a sparker attached to a battery and a receiver. The remote transits the signal to ignite the candle. This flash paper was ignited by an assistant backstage with the help of a wirelessly controlled sparker, causing it to ignite and vanish into thin air leaving the blue dress behind. 
For the final quick change she turned her black dress into a fancy black colored gown. This last illusion seems the most impressive of them all. You may be wondering how exactly was she able to wear such a large dress underneath all that clothing. Well, this fancy gown was actually folded up like a three-fold umbrella right underneath this brown dress. Three-fold umbrellas or commonly known as a mini umbrella has an internal metallic skeleton. To help you understand how Leah's gown was three-folded, I have drawn three different colored outline to highlight each fold of the umbrella with respect to Leah's gown. The green outline is the outermost fold. The red outline indicating the middle fold. And the orange outline is the base fold. The purpose of the smoke was to hide the unfolding of the gown. 